Hi, and welcome to SlideForm. Do you need to embed data, charts, and metrics from a Looker Studio dashboard into a data-intensive PowerPoint report for your clients or maybe for executive stakeholders? Well, stop doing all of that manual copying and pasting and learn how SlideForm can help you embed the data directly into the report automatically. So let's step through how it works. SlideForm can connect to any Looker Studio dashboard. Here I'm just sharing with you an example dashboard for Google Analytics 4 data. In SlideForm, you would set up a new data source and connect your Looker Studio dashboard to SlideForm. And then we will be able to read in information from that dashboard, including your charts, your data tables, and even the numbers behind those charts and metrics that may be found inside of a scorecard. So to see all of the information we capture from your Looker Studio dashboard, we can just preview those charts and you'll see everything that we've captured from the dashboard is here. We also capture all of the filters so that you can use that to apply a date range or filter by different categories in your different reports that you're generating. Now, once your data source is connected to SlideForm, you'll need to create a template for your PowerPoint report. So if your final report should look something like this, we would want to create a new PowerPoint file, something like this, that has placeholders for the different information you're gonna be filling into the report. So for example, we would create a placeholder for the number of views and enclose that in curly braces like this. Notice it's just a text element on the PowerPoint slide um, and you can have as many of those as you need to. For a chart, we're going to be replacing this large rectangular box with a chart from the dashboard. In this case, we create a shape here in the PowerPoint file itself and we put into the middle of that shape the words chart, colon, and sessions over time or any other name that you want to give that chart and enclose it inside of curly braces. You'll notice we can also support um, data tables. So if you wanted to have an editable table, but a PowerPoint native table format, just create a box for that table to go in and put the words data, colon, and then the name of your table and enclose it inside curly braces. We can also insert images. So if you have um, client logos or images that need to be swapped out from one report to the next, we can do that with a large rectangle or any other shape that wants to hold that image. And we can replace text like the client name that may be found in a drop-down menu or other um, information in your, uh, in your actual dashboard, we can replace it into the slide deck as well. The best thing about this is actually that we can automatically update and filter by a date range. So for this particular report, it's a weekly report that's going to be produced um, every Monday. We have the prior week in here selected um, to be automatically filled in, and then we're going to use that prior week period to filter all the data in the report. So once you have this template set up, you save it as a regular PowerPoint file, and we're going to go back into SlideForm, and you can create a new project and um, simply upload the PowerPoint in this gray box right here. Now, once that file has been uploaded into SlideForm, it will be a new project, just like these other reports that I have in my account. So my report with KPIs is here, and in order to complete the final step here, we need to connect the data source, all of those charts and uh, facts and figures from Looker Studio, and we need to connect those over to our PowerPoint template. So to do that, we can click on Configure Data, and you'll see um, that we captured every single slide in the PowerPoint, and for every placeholder that's in those curly braces, we actually have a little blue box like this that allows us to match data into that placeholder. So let's take a look at one of the charts um, 
that is coming directly from the uh, Looker Studio. So we have a chart called Sessions Over Time. It's just a line chart. And we're going to uh, select where that data comes from, from your Looker Studio dashboard, select the worksheet and the name of the chart. And if you wanted it to be um, filtered, you can set the filter here. You can always preview your chart as well to make sure that's the correct one that you wanted to pull in. Now let's take a look at one of the KPIs or um, the numbers that we're going to be pulling in. For example, here's the number of sessions per week, user sessions on my website or my client's website. So we select where the data is from, and then we're going to query it from the table of data uh, that's behind my um, number of sessions scorecard that's in my Looker Studio dashboard. Just to orient you a little bit, here is the session scorecard on the dashboard. and. Um, we want to pull in this number here into our report as a text number. So we're going to select the page and the table. Then we're going to choose the value column in that table that's going to contain the number of sessions per week. And then you can um, filter it, sort it, or um, even apply a function like sum or average of the numbers in this table. Um, and again, if you wanted to preview that, you can do it as well. Finally, if we wanted to fill in something like the client name, um, we can do that by just hard coding it in slide form to fill in the name of my client here that's going to be on the first page. So I can fill it in with alpha beta co. Or if this information is found in the dashboard, um, if I have a title at the top of the dashboard that says the client name, I could look it up in the dashboard as well. So basically, SlideForm can pull in all of the information that you need to embed in your report from, Power, uh, from Looker Studio into PowerPoint automatically. Now, once you have the mapping set up from the data source into the slide deck, we simply run the report. And you can run your reports um, manually by clicking the Generate button. Or you can set a schedule to have it run every Monday morning, for example. Um, and those can be delivered directly to you in an email. Or you can look in a um, slide form like this to get that finished report. So to um, see the final output, let's just take a look. And you can see that slide one has our our date range automatically calculated and then it's going to be used to filter. We have all of our numbers filled in and they are editable text in the slide. We have our chart pulled in as an image and then for our sessions by channel we have our chart and then we have the information that's extracted from behind that chart and it's displayed as a table and it's editable so if you wanted to change the way this looks for the formatting, you can do that. The great thing about SlideForm is that we take all of that unnecessary manual work and we automate it so that you can focus on the value added work that you do for your clients and stakeholders. If you have any questions about SlideForm at all, please reach out at slideform.co. We'd be happy to assist. Thank you.